Hi, I'm Molly, and welcome to Art Around the World. Today, we are going to travel to South America, to the Amazon rainforest, to create our own crazy creature flipbook. Let's go! Today, we are going to create a crazy creature flipbook. By the end of this lesson, you will have drawn three animals found in the Amazon rainforest. I will show you how to put them together so you can make a booklet that allows you to be a little crazy, matching different creatures' heads with different bodies to form a whole new creature. The Amazon rainforest is a large tropical rainforest. Its borders contain the drainage basin of the Amazon River and its tributaries in northern South America. It occupies 40% of the nation of Brazil and contains the Amazon River, which is now considered the world's longest river. It is the world's most diverse biological reservoir, containing several million species of insects, plants, birds, and other wildlife, much of which is still unrecorded by scientists. Some of the other crazy creatures you might find in the Amazon rainforest or the Amazon river include jaguar, manatee, tapir, capybara, and monkeys. Today we are only going to focus on three animals found in the Amazon. You will learn to draw the Amazon river dolphin or better known as the pink dolphin or boto. It is only found in fresh water. And even though it thrives in the tens of thousands, it is considered at risk because of the pollution of rivers and lakes. The green iguana is abundant in the Amazon rainforest. Males can reach up to six feet long, while females can reach up to four feet in length. A large male is an amazing sight with a large dewlap that hangs from the base of its throat and a long row of spikes that run down its spine. They may start out olive green at the beginning of the day and then turn orange with blue cheeks as the day progresses. The Amazon rainforest is crawling with slithering snakes. There are at least 17 known venomous species along with several other non-venomous species. There are huge snakes like the green anaconda. And there are also smaller snakes, like the Amazon whip snake, which only dwells in the canopy, feeding on frogs and birds. In order to create your Crazy Creature Flipbook, you will need a few pieces of plain sketch paper, a ruler, a pencil, a good eraser, a pair of scissors, and a stapler. Let's get started! Hi, now that you've gathered the materials, let's get started. First, I want you to take your pencil and your ruler and we're gonna make some lines. We're gonna measure, we're gonna use the inches side of our ruler, down here is the centimeters, but we're gonna use the top part, which is the inches side. And we're gonna line up our ruler with the edge of our paper on this side, I've turned my paper horizontally or landscape. And I want you to come in after you've lined it up with the edge at three and a half inches, right there. Then move it down and make another mark at three and a half inches. Okay, now that you have those two marks, use your straight edge and we're going to connect those dots. Great job. Okay, now we're gonna do a line going this way. So we need to line our ruler up with the top of the paper this way. And I want you to make a mark at one and a half inches down. Scoot your ruler over and make another mark at one and a half inches down. And now we're gonna use our straight edge and we're gonna go across our paper and connect those two dots again. Okay, so you should have a line up top and a line like this. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. We're gonna, again, line up our ruler with that line that you made. And we're gonna go here and do another one here at three and a half inches. And this one is at five and a half inches. So go ahead and make one mark at three and a half inches 
and at five and a half inches. And feel free to pause the video at any time if you feel like it's going too fast. Now pull your ruler away and you should have a little line segment and we're actually going to erase that line segment in between those two marks. Okay, so you should have an opening. Okay, so now we are going to draw a pink river dolphin. Now even if you think you know what a dolphin looks like, you still need to follow step by step because actually a pink river dolphin is sometimes different looking than a regular dolphin. So let's follow along. The first step is we're going to draw a circle in between those two marks. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's a little lopsided. That's fine. But as you notice, I got in between those two marks. Now we're going to draw a pretty good arch. Can you draw an arch like that? And we're going to make it into a banana shape. Isn't that fun? Okay, after you get that banana shape, I'll give you a couple seconds here. Then we're going to do the next step. We're going to do almost like a half circle, or not even a half circle, but a curved line coming off that end of that banana shape right there. Okay, great job. So we're going to bring that in, almost like a leaf shape, and do another leaf shape on that side. So now you have the flippers. Okay, now we're going to come up here to this circle again, and up kind of like the edge of the circle down here, we're going to draw kind of a long shape like that. You can work with it if you want. It got a little too curvy right there. So I'll erase it, use my big eraser, and we'll bring it back in. Okay? And now we're going to erase this line right here. And I bet you can guess what that is, and we're going to erase this line right here. So our circle helped us navigate where to put the body and the nose, but now we can erase some of it. Okay, so as you notice, their nose or beak or mouth of a pink river dolphin, its nose is a lot longer than your typical dolphin. And we'll give them just a little bit of a line to show where his mouth is. And if you want to draw a circle in the middle, and I usually color in from the outside, leave a little white spot, that's his eye. Okay. And now, instead of doing a typical fin, which is a curved and then comes to a point and down, a pink river dolphin's fin is a lot longer and, it, and it's further down its back. So I don't know if you can draw a longer shape that comes to a point and then like that. You'll notice they're just a little bit different from normal dolphins that we see in the ocean. Okay, now we're ready to draw his front fins. So if you could draw just a curved line like that in the middle lower section of his body. And we're going to bring a curved line back and then another curved line. Okay, so if you could draw something that looks like that, almost like a um, candy corn shape, but it has a little curve, so a little triangle, but with a little curve right there. And then we're going to draw the flipper on the other side. So again, just that curved line this way, and then we pull it back in. Okay, so that is a pink river dolphin. And did you know that pink river dolphins are rare? And they live in the Amazon River. And so they only swim in fresh water. And so you just drew a pink Amazon River dolphin. So give yourself a pat on the back. Go to Crazy Creature Flipbook Part 2 to continue this project. Hey, hey.